So um, let's talk about your big life change that you've okay. recently had. You had a baby. I did, a baby boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell us, um, I mean, like, you know, as a woman, I always like to talk about these yeah. experiences because I have a three and a half year old mm-hmm. and it definitely changed my life. So tell me a little bit about like, how was pregnancy for you? How was the delivery for you? I am so lucky. I think, thank God every day. Um, my pregnancy was great. Um, my delivery was smooth. It's the easiest thing that it could have been, Mm -hmm. you know, it's more of my challenges came after, Mm -hmm. you know, like adjusting, but I had a good pregnancy. Like in the beginning, obviously was shitty, you know, Mm -hmm. when your body's trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. But then after that, super smooth, no crazy cravings, you know, didn't gain weight until like the last month. Wow, I gained 50 pounds. Yeah, I mean, I definitely gained weight. I was like 165 when I had him. So Mm -hmm. that's the biggest I've ever been in my life. But I didn't gain it until the the last month. Yeah, you know, that's good. And then, um, you know, having him, I still will remember all the nurses in there like, you have some good muscles down there. I'm like, yeah, well, (laughs) (laughs) if you only knew, you know, (laughs) how long was your delivery? Um, Started like at 430. He was out by 444. So like, I mean, at, I was in labor all day, but I'm saying okay. he started pushing at 4.30. Okay. He was out by 4.44. Yeah, so, that was the same for me. It was about 10 minutes of yeah, pushing. Yeah, super simple. Like, but you hear so many crazy stories. Mm-hmm. I was more mortified than anything. Um, but yeah, everything was perfect. And I was like, you know, one stitch, still still pretty. You know? Yeah, <laughs> same. Yeah, I was. it was nine and a half hours for me from the start of labor yeah. to delivery. It was like so fast. Yeah, I pretty much slept all day. So like when I woke up, I went in at probably like three or four in the morning mm-hmm. and slept all day. And then like, like I said, the, when they were like, oh, it's time. I'm like, oh no, she's like, it's too late now. You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't really stop that train once it starts running. I was so scared though, you know, but it's crazy like what the body does naturally. Like yeah. once you find your rhythm, that's why I think like, a lot of people are in tuned with their body mm-hmm. so it's harder for them yeah. you know but i was like i'm very in tune when i do kegels all the time i do things so once i found like the rhythm i was like oh he's out i'm pu- he's coming out <laughs> did you have an epidural yeah yeah that was i best. had to, i had to i don't understand how people do it without i'm a p- when it comes to pain so like even the girl that i heard down the hall for me was going crazy she she didn't have an epidural i was like that's my point i just i didn't want to bring any more trauma to my baby than it could have been so i was like it was made it the easiest thing i didn't like getting it done it yeah. was the most painful part of it yeah and you have to be like perfectly still i was like shaking uncontrollably me too. she was like time. sit still i was like i am f-ing sitting still same <laughs> i know my anesthesiologist was kind of a me too. That's why I was like, you're being mean to me. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Where did you give birth? Um, what is it? Henry Mayo. Okay. I was at UCLA. Yeah. I wanted to, I wanted Cedar Sinai. I had it all planned out and I was like, it didn't work. Didn't, that way. Yeah. Didn't make it. Did he come before you expected? Yeah. He came like, actually like he was supposed to be on the seventh and came on the second. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. He was ready. Wow. <laughs> was it just like did your water just break and you ran to the hospital or was there I woke slow? up. I woke up and I was like, oh, something's wrong. It was like really heavy, you mm-hmm. know, and we ended up going to the hospital and it, it broke there. So I just okay. feel like everything happened. Yeah. You know, he was just ready to come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then what was your what was your first reaction when you saw him? I, it's honestly the most crazy, trippy I, if I've ever say it, it was so trippy, like, cause I actually pulled him out. So you the, pulled him out. Yeah. So the doctor, he was like, you know, he had a, like did his head like that. He's like, pull your baby out. I'm like, no, he's like, pull him out. So I grabbed him and I pulled him out and just like, I, I can't, it was like an out of body experience. Like wow. it was just amazing. I didn't, I've never thought that I would even like, first of all, if I would have never slowed down in life, I was always chasing money and yeah. Just doing things. If I would have never slowed down, I would have never went through with it. You know, yeah. so I'm so happy that I did. I was meant to be a mom. Like mm-hmm. I'm a great mom, and just that whole experience of holding him for the first time is just—it's just trippy. That's yeah. like crazier than any acid or anything I've ever tried. I was yeah. just like, oh my god, this is my baby. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like- yeah. So wait, did they not? Did they put him on your skin right away? They mm-hmm. didn't like. Yeah. No. Suck right out away. The snot or. And- Right away. It was wow. just crazy. And then obviously they took him and um, got him. But I just didn't want him to leave the room. I was like, do everything right here. You yeah. Know? Like, but yeah, I I was just, it's crazy. It's like an out-of-body experience. Like yeah. when after 
it comes, it's like, holy shit, I just pushed a human out. Like, yeah. And I'm okay. I'm still yeah. here. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I had like dreamed of that moment when, you know, my baby would come out and I would see her for the mm-hmm. first time. And I had this vision of, you know, how like it would be this magical moment. <laughs> And I would be like, oh, my baby. And I, I ain't going to lie. My <laughs> first thought, because they're co- she was covered in all that white stuff. Yeah. Um, I forgot what it's called. Well, it's like your placenta after birth. Yeah. And like their skin's kind of shriveled from mm-hmm. being literally yeah. in the utero for nine months. And they like get, brought her out and they're like, here's your baby. And I was like, oh, <laughs> don't touch me. Dude, my first thought was like, she's all slimy. I was like, Can you just clean her off like. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is it, like I said, you could have this whole thing of how it's supposed yeah. to be and stuff. Yeah. And it never turns out no. how it's supposed to be, but just a crazy experience. I can't, I don't, I would maybe love to do it again one day, but I'm just glad that I got to experience it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, it was, I mean, it was definitely like, I mean, I was crying and my husband's crying and all that stuff, but my first thought was, oh my God, she's so slimy and gross. <laughs> like, ew. Like, ew. <laughs> I was like worried. I was like, my my pictures, my photos, I look fat. Like, what the <laughs> <heck?"> <laughs> they're like nobody's even caring about that right now. Like, I was so mad. Like, this is one thing I remember is like I I was supposed to go get my nails done that day. Yeah, and I was so mad that I didn't have my nails done and my toes and stuff like that. And they're like, really? Like, <laughs> I literally <laughs> blew my hair out before we went See, to the hospital. All my friends there, like putting their makeup on. I didn't have any, no eyelashes, no makeup, no hair, um, one broken nail. I was like furious about that, but it didn't matter. <laughs> There's a, a a mutual. She's a model that I follow, and she just had a baby, and I. And she's very like social media savvy and very mm-hmm. like big. Um, and I just saw her like hospital photos with the baby and she's like full glam. And I was like, you literally brought your makeup artist to <laughs> the hospital and they did your face in the bed. Like, I know it. Like, there's no way that you looked like that through the right. whole delivery. Well, it was my pretty funny. best friend is my makeup artist. So if I really wanted it, I could have had it because I had her there with me, too. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I yeah. was just in the moment. I really didn't give a. I was like, I just want me to be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better. <laughs> 